We're back for Coffee with Coach presented by Tim Hortons. I'm Andrew Mossbrooks, as always, joined by Seth Appert. And Coach, you guys got six points last week in the standings, contributions up and down the lineup. Was this the best week of the season to date? Uh, yeah, it probably was. Uh, in terms of, you know, wins obviously are important, especially this time of the year, um, standings starting to come into, come into picture a little bit. But certainly it was from our process. Um, you know, we did things the right way throughout the week, all three games. We played good team defense. We scored. We won a hard-fought, low-scoring road game. You know, I think all in all, uh, if you take everything into account, it was the best week. I was talking about the contributors. Lukasz Rusek is one of them. I don't know if you've noticed, he's got a 13-game point streak. The last guy that did that for the Amherst, Dominic Pittis. He's an Amherst Hall of Famer, and he did so 24 years ago. Rusek with some pretty elite company. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, I have seen that. I didn't know that, but it doesn't surprise me. He's playing his best hockey that he's played in North America. Um, and the funny thing is, is it's, it's less about the points in my mind. His, his puck hunts, his puck battles, his willingness to go to hard areas, to, to do the dirty things to help teams win is just incredibly high right now. It's the highest it's been since he's been over here. And so therefore, then he gets the puck a lot. When you play that way, you get the puck back a lot. And when he gets the puck back, uh, he's so creative and he's so talented uh, that he gets to make a lot of plays with it. All right, 36 down, 36 to go. You're a coach, that means you teach a little bit. If you got a chalkboard out in front of you, how do you grade out the Amherst through the first half? Well, I guess there's, a, there's the first half's too long. I usually, we usually take, I'm not a segment guy, but, but you know, every 10 games, give or take, when there's a pause in the schedules, usually when I would, um, early in the year, our offense was good, our D team defense was poor. Um, and then we corrected, and we made a big emphasis on, on playing better, committed, hard-nosed, winning hockey, which means also better team defense. So in the last 15 or 20, our team defensive metrics and numbers have went up dramatically. Our penalty kills improved dramatically. Um, the scoring had to take a bit of a back seat to that because when you focus on one thing in practice, you can't always focus on the other. Um, now our offense is starting to come back a little bit, uh, which has been good to see. So. Um, it's hard to take the big picture in 36 games, but I think when you look at it in totality, I like, I don't like always where we are, but I do like the direction that we're heading. Well, the Amherst are riding a wave of momentum into the second half, and it starts this weekend as this homestand continues against Utica and Laval. Hope to see you there, Amherst fans.